Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Jessica Alexandria. I'm the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary and I'm a professional astrologer, tarot, and intuitive reader. As you can tell by the title of today's video, we are going to be looking or speaking with spirit and looking to see what they say or listening to hear what they say about the wishes that you're currently manifesting or the wishes, the desires in your heart that you can feel that you can sense right now. What messages, what information, what guidance can they give to you and clarity and confirmation into where they're at with allowing it to manifest into your life, with allowing it to materialize into your life and where are you at and how can they help to guide you towards that wish even further. Now I do have a kind of a theme for this video, I'm gonna go with the witchy vibe simply because I've just been even more hardcore. I don't know if it's because of the changes of the seasons, it's Virgo season, I'm a Virgo, and this is just my natural state of being is the witch, the witchiness. I have a theme this video and it is, you know, the witchy objects. So I have a witch ball, which is message option for number one. Then we also have a grimoire, one of my grimoires. And then we also have for message number three, we have the alligator head. I will meet you down at your timestamps. I have some oracle cards pulled for you guys, and I also have some tarot that I'll be shuffling with, and I'm excited to see what you are manifesting. Okay, honey babies, if you chose the witch ball, this is your message. I'm gonna take my time with channeling because I hate rushing. Okay, first card to jump out was the Hermit card, reversed. What about that? What about that in particular? Um, I heard uh, Altar. I heard go go to your altar. Something about this. Um, all right, this is you have the uh, hermit card here, reverse, but that's fine. I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's something about this land right here is striking to me. I heard um, it's. I heard promised land. I'm also hearing in the not not too near distant future. What? What is the message here? Hmm. It's very this pile is very quiet. All right, let's see what cards you have pulled. We have 3 of wands reversed. We have queen of swords reversed. We have judgment card. Yep. Six of Wands reversed and Nine of Wands reversed. What this is giving me already is I heard a uh, conflict, conflict, a re conflict, and conflict and resolution. Conflict and resolution is what I just heard from Spirit. Um, I heard space. Okay, Spirit said we're giving you the space to 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 figure out this conflict that you're having. Um, uh, in your in your spirit, I was gonna say in your mind, but it's more a spirit, more spirit things. It's I'm also hearing the word Aquarius. Um, I'm hearing the word detachment. Some of you guys need to understand that your wish that you are currently working on manifesting. It feels like there's some things that are conflicting. It feels like, and spirit is giving you permission to figure out what you really want, what that would look like. Um, there are times where we have to, there are times where we have to, um, you know, we have to, okay, wow, 
I'm hearing a lot. Like there's, um, Spirit said, we, we, we need to talk to them about guidance. They want to talk to you about guidance. It feels like you need to go internal. You want to go internal in order to um, hear them suggest to you uh, okay, so there's malnour. I heard the word malnourishment. All right, so there's two things. Something that you're, something, ooh! Okay, sorry guys. <laughs> something, there's, there's like two things that you've got going on here. One is the actual wish, the actual desire from your higher plane, from your higher state. The second wish is, or the some, second thing that you have put out there to the universe that you're talking to your angels and your guides is something that you're malnourished in. I know that sounds crazy, but you know, hear me out. So they're saying that you can't, you're, you're trying to manifest both. And one is what you really need right now. And one is where you are headed. Something about them is conflicting. So let's say you want to manifest um, a career right uh, no higher purpose and your career is linked to that there what you set intention with that conflicts with because your purpose is not the same as your root chakra goal your root chakra career so spirit is saying that you have to kind of figure out uh, we're going to give you the space to kind of figure out this conflict to to resolve this conflict that's happening within you and some of you guys, you, you're not, what I heard is you're not embracing this quiet time, this peaceful, quiet time that needs to occur at your altar in order to sit with them and connect with them a little further so that you can kind of, um, cool, cool your jets on this, right? They're also saying that everything kind of has to come in its own, in its own process and that we don't want to rocket you into your purpose. We don't want to rocket you into this higher wish um, right now. It's not that you're not ready for it or it's not that you're not going to manifest it. It's just that there are aspects within you that need to be nourished. They're malnourished. Um, let me take a step back. Spirit, speak to me about three of wands reversed. Oh. Queen of Swords, Judgment, Six of Wands, Nine of Wands. They are saying we are trying to, what we want to give to you right now, before we give to you this, this higher wish, this higher purpose, is we want to give to you the, f the food for the soul so that when you manifest this wish, that kind of, this second wish, this other major wish, this other major intention, you're not going to apply the malnourishment into that space where it needs to be nourished and you need to be nourished in order to fulfill that wish, that in order to secure that wish fulfillment. Um, Three of Wands reversed is, it's, there's this, this, it's not a warning, it's like a cautionary tale. It's not that they're watching you look towards the future. They're watching you look outwards in the distance. And they're saying, without judgment, you're just simply not totally ready. Um, if this, if there's this, the, uh, the Queen of Swords and the Judgment card here. There's some coming to life. There's this breathing life into you. There's this reemergence that needs to occur once you are nourished. If this is something from the heart space, because I'm also getting this really strong sense that if it's this wish, you know, this wish fulfillment, there's this really strong, like, let's say if it's a relationship, right? So this is if you, 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 this is the pile, this is the group that would need to cool and, and, and love up on the inner child wounds before you manifest the soulmate, before you manifest the life partner. This is the, um... This is the group that needs to um, heal um, issues of self-worth, self-value with what they, in self-confidence before they can step out in the limelight and become a celebrity or before they can share their creations with the entire world because first and foremost, the self-worth, the self-value needs to be cured, calmed, cooled, and resolved before you step into this ultimate larger wish. This is the group that has to work on ooh, their finances and saving and financial responsibility because once they tap into this abundance of wealth, they would lose it. You know, this ultimate vision of, you know, whatever it is, they, 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 you need to create. So you want to take this time 
spirit says you're not being de um, denied this wish you are you want to first resolve the conflict internally and you can actually sense this however some of you guys are not even wanting to it does and then with this the land right with this land that's why this land was coming th forward you're not far away from it you're actually pretty close but in order to get from here to there which is a very short swim you know you want to be strong you want to be prepared um yeah so let me see i have this um frida kahlo these affirmations card choose to see every creative energy and everything no matter what and you will recognize opportunity it's the recognize part spirit just said what if we gave you everything this higher what if we were to give you this higher wish right this this jump this this major wish this fulfillment right now would you even be able to recognize it and would you even know what to do with it Ooh. <laughs> as you must serve everything you create it's a good idea to do so with love and integrity this is an integral part of your course your core being and sometimes when we say, oh, I love this, I want this, but, you know, moving from this state of love, it does create, like, it requires a lot. Like, as you must serve everything you create, it's a good idea, the spirit said, making suggestions, to do so with love and integrity. That's impressive. Live to honor a legacy of love and propel yourself with your infinity. Be the star of your life. Wow. Let's look at your oracle cards, shall we? Oh, fortune. Lakshmi. NYX, Nyx. Secrets. However, she is reversed. So there are some things, guys, that you are, especially with the judgment card, you are going to have massive revelations on, okay, so this is why I needed this first. And the reason why that first wish needs to be manifested and materialized, the base, is because there's a disorder there. There's a dysfunction there that needs to be healed first and cooled first and resolved first before you are able to manifest this larger thing and that's not that, that's it's actually like a hidden blessing um and spirit also is saying go to your altar so that we can talk to you more about like how we can do that look we have a vision here um ruled by aphrodite this is the vision of what it is that you want what you want to materialize what you're attracted to we also have chaos here um this feels very clearly very tumultuous from past experiences and then also we have the sun dancers, joyful activity, celebration of life, and abundance. So you have so many cards here about abundance, about manifestation, about material. And then we have this crystal here, which I've never heard or seen this one before. And I'm going to read it for you. It's actually number one. So let me pull this up. Ooh. <gasps> integrity solidarity impeccability reliability consistency yo those are literally all of the things and also that is also queen of swords vibe spirit spirit speaks through me man like i'm i haven't been wrong yet i have not been wrong yet i'm sure as a human being it'll happen i have not been wrong yet Although we are always evolving, we all possess deeply held values that we do not have to compromise. Your personal integrity. Ooh. This card that you also had, integrity. Um, matters. So if you're feeling pressure to say yes when your heart says no or to be something you're not, listen to the message Egregine Spirit brings you now. Now is the time to remember the importance of being reliable and impeccable with your word. If you really wanted to say no, don't say yes for now and try to correct your mistake later. The reason why 
this this is exactly what I'm saying like the reason why this is coming through is because some of you guys feel pre not pressured but there's this there's this mounting pressure that you or this expectation that you have of yourself from this disordered dysfunctional place which we all have you know that's 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 fine you but you want to be aware of it you want to see it first especially with secrets you don't if you don't know that you are holding it, you want to be made aware of it. And if you're holding it, you don't want to harbor it. You know, you don't want to harbor it. You don't want to hold to, you want to not fix it and heal it, but you want to resolve it and come to peace and come to terms with it so that whatever it is that you're manifesting and materializing moving forward isn't coming from this dysfunctional, secret, forbidden, taboo place. To go to your sacred space, the altar, it's not something that you want to resist or to avoid. You're actually encouraged to revisit it. Heal those parts first, the chaotic parts within you that are still trying to figure themselves out. Manifest that and then materialize this greater wish, this greater wish fulfillment, right? Also, I don't know if you guys know this, but with, with the witch ball, this is a high, amazing token for protecting your home environment, protecting your heart. Um, space, protecting your manifestations. Um, it helps to absorb any ill malicious intent that is driven towards you or directed towards you. Just because you're this joyful, celebratory, abundant, thriving being, there's a lot of abundance around you, my loves. Clearly, you're going to be manifesting if you haven't already in impeccability when it comes to your abundance and, you know, all of it like things that you can celebrate things that you can enjoy things that you can that people will honestly they'll want they maliciously may be your you know want to be your friend for what reason you know not because of your character but because of what you have because of what you hold because of what you can do because of what you can do for them so having said that having witch balls and charming them for you know, protection to make sure that any evil eye energy or any malicious intent directed towards you is sucked into that ball and just totally dissipated. Charge it under the full moon, okay? Charge it under the full moon, okay? I love you guys so much. That was a quick and easy read. And uh, yeah, make sure that you're subscribed to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And I will see you in my next, oh, uh, thumbs up if this, if this message resonated. All right, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. All right, honey babies. If you chose my grimoire, one of my grimoires, this is your message from spirit as far as your wishes. What do they see for you? What do they want from you? Wow. Strength card. And as the strength card came out, I heard calm. Ooh, I just heard the word resource, resources. I heard be calm and centered in your resources. Um, strength card is actually connected to the element, well, the sign Leo. Leo rules the heart center, but also our ability to be confident within ourselves and self-assured the knowingness that we know that we are worthy and what we are capable of doing, what we are capable of, and not putting tremendous pressure on us to become anything other than what we already are. And I'm being reminded of how I was a child. <laughs> I love that spirit is bringing me into this, but they're like, tell them this story. I'm reminded of how I was when I was a child and when I was a teenager and then some, but I'm fine now. But I used to be told all the time by certain mem members of my family, just your potential. You have so much potential. So you want to capitalize on this potential. And the word potential was supposed to be a compliment, but it ended up putting relentless unsurmountable, I don't know if that's the right word, but that's what's kind of coming through, pressure on me to be something or to become something other than what I was and that I am. And of course, at the end of the day, like, I'm fine now, you know? I am doing what it is that I love. I'm confident within myself. Clearly, I'm channeling Goddess Vibes energy every other day. I'm manifesting my heart's desires. 
I'm authentic in my state of being, I'm comfortable in my own skin, you know, like I'm successful, I'm loved, I have great people around me, all those things, but and they, there was concern because of how sensitive I was, how um, much of a, a, a sensitive rebel I was. So, and by rebel, I don't mean that I was like doing anything crazy. I just had to honor my own path and I would do it quietly and I would do it creatively and I would walk away from certain things you know, and sometimes even cry as I was walking away from them or, you know, be hurt by certain things, but I would still honor that, you know, I would still honor that path. Now, everyone can look back and be like, well, yeah, you know, Jess is a, a, a symbol of this amazing abundance, this amazing life. Um, and we're proud of her and we can clap for her, but it's like, but you were this, you guys are the same people that were always telling me like, you, you, you have to go to school in this way, you have to do it this way. And if I was to do that, I wouldn't have actually lived up to my potential. I would have lived up to what they wanted. And all of their visions, all of their warnings actually were for my highest and greatest good, but they came from a space of fear, from their own experiences, from their own expectations and what they thought could happen. However, I'm a child of God. I'm a child of the universe. I'm a child of the highest spirit, the highest divine, and at that, I was created with gifts and talents and strengths that not everybody else was born with. So, of course, I had to foster and to stabilize those gifts, not for me to tap into material abundance, but emotional, spiritual, mental peace, abundance, growth, blessing. So this, I don't know why I had to say all of that, but it was the gentleness of this. The word uh, gentle is really coming through and also what's standing out to me is this infinity sign tattoo on her body and I'm also kind of drawn to my own tattoo and why I got this here and what it means to me so I'm getting called to talk to you guys about the tokens that empower you and to set your sights on that okay this card just wanted to jump out Ooh twice this is the infinity sign too. the two of pentacles is that infinite loop that we just keep weaving so there's this spirit is saying this pile really wants to tap into their we want to encourage you to tap into your unlimited source your unlimited wealth that is sitting here the word potential they want to flick it away they want to flick that word away but they're also saying that you being who you are and you doing what you're doing is going to help you to tap into. Yes, there. it's not that there is a high potential within you, of course, of course there is. It's more that there is a high, there's a, a high potential, there's a lot of potential out there. And you just being who you are and you being gentle and easing into these doors that are opening up to you, these things that you find yourself attracted to, these things that you're curious to explore, you know, those are the things that are going to guide you into higher potential. But don't worry about getting there. Um, yeah, five of swords. There's this, you know, stress that I'm kind of getting that spirit wants to tell you of like, how can I make this happen? How can we bring this to life? And spirit says, you don't have to try. <laughs> you don't have to try. You're going to make yourself anxious and and irritable if you try too hard. I'm also, interestingly enough, I'm getting this, wow, I was just about to say this. I'm getting this um, high message of really like cooling things down, not cooling, but calming things down and not resting, but uh, refilling your cup. Ace of Cups is here, refilling your cup. Um, your heart space i'm hearing a lot like i'm i'm these are things that you guys are hearing from friends and people around you it's it's thing it's the external spirit is really showing me the external this is like the third time i'm being called to talk to you guys about the external um the noise um spirit is saying like there are things okay uh accomplishments the word that just came through is accomplishments so they want you to see, ooh, there's someone or something, the external, this vision. Um, and I'm also getting vision boarding for you guys. They want you to see what 
those who have manifested this wish and have taken are taking care of this wish they want you to take to spend more time looking at them and what they say and what they do and them like talking about it not to not in a comparison but more like listen to them talk about it and the reason why is because that's really going to be you if it isn't already um if you guys are uncomfortable with hearing them talk about it some of you guys actually like turn away when you hear them talk about it but it's because it's literally triggering you because that's next that's what's next so if there's a, a celebrity if there is a person if there is someone even if you can't talk to them period it's more that you're just hearing them talk about their experiences like if you what is their day-to-day -day life you know what what do they talk not that you have to emulate it or like match it but just hear them talk about it from their own heart space because that's authentic to them and that's going to be authentic to you um and i'm also seeing you guys taking that and taking time out for yourself in order to co-create with the universe your vision board it's very much getting it out of the mind and getting it onto paper in a visually creative way so really take your time to do that it, even carrying it in the mind is just going to drive you crazy so I just see vision boarding for this pile and I definitely see this creative energy here this what you can create the color the holy shit oh my god you guys this storm just came in out of nowhere do you hear that oh my god is that a tornado pause Hey guys, um, so number one, two, two, two on the clock. I don't know if you guys can see that, two, two, two. Anyways, it is two, two, two. It's not a tornado, I don't think, but whatever it is literally blew my back door open. Um, so I just grabbed Franklin really quickly and I opened up the blinds a little bit just so I can see if something, you know, occurs. Oh, look at this, the sun card. Speaking of tornadoes, <laughs> um, interestingly enough, the um, pile number one, group message number one pulled a tornado and it was like chaos. But yeah, I'm not getting any notifications saying that there's anything going on. All right, let's look at your oracle cards, shall we? Oh, oh, home, Hestia. Then we also have Hectate, the in-between. She, oh my God, everybody is having these like, um, I. this is the second time I've had this like incredible reaction while I'm doing a reading for you guys. But okay, so we have Hectate, the in-between, and then we have Yi, the sun. Oh my God, and guess what? I'm totally forget, not, I totally am reminded that the sun actually rules leo energy oh my goodness and hestia is connected to home the hearth which is what leo rules naturally and then ace of cups the heart the center so literally i don't want you guys to get there's so many messages of confirmation here um but i don't want you guys to get hung up on the, the fact that you might be in the in-between right now this is the in-between worlds between and it's a very uncomfortable place that can really get you anxious and weird and odd and it can come in out of nowhere kind of like this these crazy winds or tornado that's sweeping through this area right now um we don't want you to get caught up in that okay we have wow we have forbidden here which is interesting we have success we have the High Priestess of Air, who is reversed. We also have Reminder card, and then we have some crystals here. Okay, so with the High Priestess of Air reversed, this is a message right now that is telling you that your mind is a miraculous place. There's definitely something going on outside. Um, your mind is a miraculous place. At the same time, as miraculous and powerful as it is, you want to be aware that you can turn that into a head storm, right? And it can come in randomly. So with that, Spirit is saying, you know, I really, that they're almost saying like kind of calm and center yourself now 
and put some things that are forbidden, like make some things forbidden off limits, especially while you are coming back to your home space your heart center in order to materialize to manifest this next wish the reminder card is here reversed saying that there are some things that i just feel like there's some things that are might be plaguing you that may be in your head kind of reiterating these thoughts these ruminations that don't feel good for you you also have discipline here armor and boundaries this is about self-protection right? This is about self-protection. This is about self-preservance, you know, preservation. Boundaries means that not everything and everyone needs to come in. Um, and not every thought or everything that you hear or believe is actually true. It is if you make it true. It is if you make it so, but you want to go to the heart space and don't get conflicted when you're in this in-between space, right? Don't get conflicted when you're in there. You want to come into the heart center source right now. Let's see what's going on with these crystals here. We have Moonstone. Oh, I love that for you. And we also have Lemurian Quartz. Moonstone and Lemurian Quartz. A storm right now is... And it's not even like a storm. It's just like... I mean, clearly it's a storm, but it's not like a normal storm. Vision, ooh, ooh. I'm sorry, guys. I hate to be so weird sometimes. <laughs> You're probably like, yeah, this girl's weird. I know. All right. Lemurian Quartz. Vision, big picture thinking, and unlocking the secrets of infinite possibility. How many words? Possibility is connected to potential. Infinite is the infinity sign that you guys keep getting here. Big picture thinking is just that's just where we're at right now like that's just where you're at also unlocking is this forbidden the reminder something about this something about this is a remind like to me that's about unlocking it's about these internal okay your ability to imagine something bigger and better and draw in what you need in order to heal wow i think you guys definitely need to listen to pile number one too um, feel a sense of well-being and step into your power as a co-creator is greater than you think. The message of Lemurian court spirit is that now is the time to... Sorry, guys. I'm hearing a thump. Something is falling in the back. Um, I hope it's not a tree because that would suck, especially as a homeowner now. All right. What do you see for yourself? Ooh. What do you see for yourself? How do you picture yourself in this future? It's the potential. Oh, what kind of person have you evolved into? Um, hold on. What type of person have you evolved into as you strive to fully embrace and enjoy your life? Sun is the enjoyment. On this healing journey, you are called to keep your eye on the bigger picture of your experience, and the bigger picture is your heart. I don't know why, but that's what I'm bring, being called into. The heart, the home, the hearth, the heart, the center. That's your home. That is your center. Keep your eye on that. Keep your feelings on that. So that you recognize your struggles as, lead, as leading you to epiphanies, allies, and inner wisdom born of lived experience. Okay, so this is that forbidden energy. Lemurian Quartz Spirit reminds you that the capacity to unlock the wisdom of the stars is within you. Just open your connection to the conscious universe. Open your... That's the forbidden thing. There's like some things that just... It's like you've put it forbidden or you won't allow yourself to... Allow, allow yourself to receive it, allow yourself to be it, allow yourself to dream it. And I. that's why I'm like, I just feel like you guys need to connect with those. Okay. Um, very soon... That... Uh, very soon... A powerful vision of what is ahead of for you will become clear, especially with the sun card here. Then you also have moon. You have sun and moon here. These, to these two opposites that you are also working with. All right, 37 is moonstone. Intuition, insight, inner wisdom, and inner voice. Okay. Um, all right. Inner knowing, inner sensing. These are the talents that the conscious universe has bestowed upon all of us, 
but we have been conditioned to minimize their importance and instead pay more attention to the knowing that comes from experience life through our physical senses and logical analysis. Do you hone your intuition? Do you trust it? Even when you can't point to a logical reason why you know what you know. The message from Moonstone Spirit is to tune in and listen to your intuition. It will speak to you through an inner voice, an inner vision, an inner sensation that feels real because, well, it is. It has many ways of communicating to you. Now's the time to pull back the veil between the visible and the invisible. That's the in-between. Um, oh, between the visible and invisible worlds. Trust that the hidden reality matters. And that's the forbidden. And know that your intuition comes from the conscious universe, the heart, your heart, which possesses wisdom, knowledge, and understanding far beyond your own. I love that for you guys. Oh, you also have these cards here. The Frida Kahlo. You are infinity. Wow. Infinite. Infinity sign. Okay, you guys are seeing this all throughout. You have two of pentacles here creating that infinite loop. And you also have the strength card. And you also have success here, you guys. You guys are destined and fated for success. Look into Leo energy if you're not a Leo. Um, I'm definitely seeing creative pursuits here and the balance. You know, just create. Oh my goodness. As I'm saying that, you are infinity being defined through the impact of your creative spirit in motion. That's what the Two of Pentacles is. This is the creativity infinitely looping in motion. That's what's being co-created right now. That's magical. Give the world hope with your warm smile, effective etiquette, and graceful heart. Emphasis on the word heart. You are stronger than you think and more than you know. Be curious and de determined. I love that for you. And definitely the word is courageous. Leo energy, regardless of what your sun moon rising is, is very courageous. And that's the spirit that you want to embody right now. All right, my loves. I hope this message resonates. I hope this makes sense for you. Um, I want to invite you to hit the thumbs up button if this message benefited you in any way, shape, or form. And I'm going to move on to message number three the alligator head. All right, my loves, if you chose message, oh, wait till you see what just jumped out. If you chose message number three or message three with the alligator head, this is your message from spirit and spirit really wants to speak. Uh, first card that just jumped out right now is two of cups. And it's interesting because what I'm hearing, I also am hearing the word expectation. I'm also hearing magical. I'm also hearing um, Lemurian. 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 I haven't heard that word in a long time. We gotta look that up. We gotta look it up. Lemurian. You guys know I. Oh. It's a crystal. L um, Lemurian quartz crystal has truly powerful energy. They have an excellent vibration for adding spiritual development work. Lemuria, Lemuria, Lemuria. Hmm. What is Lemuria? A hypothetical land or continent supposed by some to have existed formerly in the Indian Ocean. Something about astrocartography just came through. Hmm. Which was a legendary belief as a lost continent between India, Madagascar, and Australia? A mystical lost country. Interesting. Hmm. The, the, the Lemuria myth. Wow. And also something about lemurs. <laughs> I just sort of, not, that didn't intuitively come to me, but they're saying that that's where the lemur came from. So maybe you guys look into the lemur. I do know that the lemur is composed of black and white, um, which is very symbolic for me, always. I don't know if you guys know this, but one of my animal totems is the skunk. Um, that was the first animal totem that came to me. It makes sense now. Ooh, justice and the hierophant just came through. 
And the thing that's really standing out to me with Justice is the number 11. That's the first thing that just came through. 11, 11, 11, 11, 11 22, and 22. Um, also with the two cups here that Justice is kind of balancing out. Um, the two of cups here that just showed up and then also the higher font. So what I am hearing is that there is a divine order. There's a divine balance that, okay, I got to channel this right now. There is a divine balance that has been restored from all of past difficulties. Um, you, okay, I just heard you have been given permission granted, permission granted. Uh, you are, you are allowed to now proceed because it was depending upon, there's, they were saying it was a different way and I don't totally understand, but it was dependent on the course of action that you have taken, like the course of your actions, which makes a lot of sense too, cause and effect. You were, it's, you're under counsel. You're under, you were under counsel from the spiritual realms. You're under counsel from the spiritual realms, like a, like a test, a teacher and a test. And there's these cycles, these repetitive cycles, performance. Okay. I heard the word performance. There's these, um, repetitive cycles that we watch your performance. We watch the decisions that you make. It's clear that there's no judgment with it, but we it, it helps to foretell your own future. It, it forebodes your future. It paints the, the future. If you can balance and choose to do the right thing, right is not logical, it is not emotional, it is intuitive. What you have learned, depending upon your performance, depending on what you act, and then they're saying the word performance because what you are called to do does not feel good all the time. But you are, you, you were there, you were, you are, it feels like a slight actually is what I heard. It feels like something that is beyond you, but you did it because you know that that was the right thing, even though it may have hurt you, even though it may not have felt good, even though it may have been very difficult, even if it may meant that you had to walk away from them, some things that would have made you happy or would have calmed some things within you that may have been really calling and wanting for more. I heard loops, loops, loops. There's this loop that you, these hurdles that you keep jumping over. It's like a fucking hoop. Um, and I heard the word, it's so repetitive. Um, and spirit is saying that you have broken through that, broken past that. If you haven't, you are about to. And that is the define, that is the defining div divine balance and for that you have granted you've been granted permission uh <laughs> i just heard get ready for the winds of change <sighs> king of cups that feels this is the one thing. This is the one. This is a key. <laughs> you guys are like, yo, let me just talk to spirit. No judgment. I, I, I say no judgment because I have my own process of authentically, authentically channel, uh, channeling messages. Okay. I don't do it the way others do. The King of Cups is a key. It, he's showing up as a key. It's this emotional, mature presence that was the missing key is the key. It's giving me total emperor vibes. It feels very, <sighs> there's this quote that just came through with the higher font and it's when you figure it all out, you'll le learn to laugh at the stars and laugh at it all. It'll be truly enlightening. Can you talk to us about the Two of Cups spirit? Oh, 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 <laughs> yes. 
I'm so sorry. Did I not say the emperor? I'm sorry, Franklin. Franklin's like, lower your voice. You startled me from my nappy. I know, I'm so sorry, Bubba. Put your head down, okay? There you go. Six of Wands. Permission granted. Did I also tell you that Six of Wands is my PTSD card? You guys know that. If you're part of my Sacred Circle Tarot School, or if you've been longtime family of Bahati Life Tribe, you know I say Six of Wands. It doesn't come without, you know, a, a struggle. <laughs> They don't talk about that enough. <laughs> they don't talk about that enough. Okay. So let's talk about justice. Can you speak to us about justice? In your favor, sun card, for your happiness, for your greater good. We know. We just heard we know. I just heard. It says we know, we know, we know. We know it has not been easy. We know that it has been hard. It has not been in vain. We are, we've been watching, we know. Two of Cups. Can you talk to us about the Two of Cups? Did I do the Two of Cups already? Three of Swords. This pile has been through a lot of heartache, a lot of emotional loss. This is not just relationships. I also saw some of you guys' children. Ugh, oh, the home. This could be broken home. That's not, it's not gonna repeat. Ugh, Spirit says, please trust us. That is not going to repeat. That's not gonna repeat. There's this expectation that it's like, it only makes sense for it. That's not going to repeat. Justice for you. Justice for you. Justice for you. The great equalizer. The Spirit, the universe says, your wish has been equalized. The, the where we've we were making the we've made the way. Hierophant, seven of cups. This to me, this is like don't get it, don't get it twisted. Oh, seven of pentacles. Don't get caught in your head. Don't get caught in your thoughts. Don't expect that again because you're clouding yourself. You know, you know that you are going to have a different outcome. You know that this cycle does not repeat itself. Start with you. You're moving forward. Six of Swords. Also, pile number two chose. Got the Five of Swords. It's this, like, these, these things that we sometimes want to not... I say we want to believe it, but you don't want to believe it. You just are afraid to want more because of where you have come from, what you've experienced, and the cycles of things. But that's not, that's not going to happen. Spirit, please tell us. Knight of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Five of Wands reversed. Knight of Wands and then Five of Pentacles. It's, I, it's this, I have, this is what I have to do. This is what I have to, oh, there's the key right there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a key right there. Some of you got, you, you're, I see you putting a key. It's like a symbolism of the key on your altar. Okay, I just heard, where is that key? Where is that key? Where is the key? Where are your keys? <laughs> What's up with the Knight of Wands? I asked for clarification. I got Knight of Wands and Page of Pentacles reversed. Oh, this is abandonment. Nothing lasts forever. They're, it's gonna be gone. No, <laughs> no, that's not true. That's not true. The right things, the right person, especially if this is, this is giving me marriage vibes all over it, you guys. With justice, Hierophant, two of cups, four of wands here, six of wands. Some of you guys, you know, for the right things, they're not going to leave. They're not going to leave. They're very present, they're very active. They're very, they're very like committed. They're very stable. They don't go in, they don't go out. Some of you guys are so expecting, expecting um, to keep being uprooted, to be, keep, you know, fighting and, ah! oh my goodness. And of course I have to chase this. 
the lovers this is a pile of true love it's the pile of soulmates it's the pile of twin flame it's the the pile of coming together this is that pile you chose this pile for a reason some of you guys are resistant to hearing this um, because some aspects of you have to be reformed something about I'm being called to the word reformed and I'm also hearing Lemuria Lemuria something about that what was lost hmm I don't know you guys are gonna have to let me know down in the comments okay Lilith independence Nike ambition just do it humor by Uzumi Oshun generosity we have wishing we have fulfillment we have the high priestess of fire and beauty all right i want to talk about these first guys something about the wishing card feels very like like when you wish it feels very like i used to believe oh wow i used to believe in fairy tales i used to watch fairy tales. this is not me saying this this is spirit speaking Spirit says, I used to believe in fairy tales. I used to believe that th those are my escape from my home. Those are my escape from my reality. I used to paint, paint this world or escape into these world or escape into these movies or escape into Lemuria. Maybe that's what it is. This far away distant place in order to take me away from my experiences, to take me away from my reality. Now, and like honestly, and it's like life didn't get better. Like it almost was cycle, cycle, like a cycle, almost repeating. Now that I'm here, I'm scared to want more. Now that I'm here, I'm scared to relax. Now that I'm here, I'm afraid to be seen. Now that I'm here, I don't think that it'll, it'll happen. I don't believe that it'll happen because so much of me has been ripped up. So much of me has been abandoned or there has been lost. There have been things, of course, to celebrate, but... I, I only kind of take that as um, a passing moment because I'm waiting for the next round. I'm waiting for the next thing. There's this space here of fire and passion that keeps coming through, especially with the Knight of Wands. I feel like an ambition and independence. This has Knight of Wands written all over it and also King of Wands. The magic of the Knight of Wands is also what freaks you out. It, but also something that you kind of also embody. Um, you're not, you really want to gr be grounded and stabilized. You really want to be rooted and secured. You really want to be held and loved and seen. You know, but at the same time, there's this part of you that when it comes in, you run. And Spirit is saying, especially with Nike here, I mean, that goes without saying, but Spirit is saying that same thing that it is that you're doing where you're running away, we want you to run to, run towards. And I know, I know that that's scary for you, but also, and it's, I'm hearing you are going to choose to believe one more time. It feels punishing for us to call to you to believe one more time, but, but do it for the sake, for the sake of, of it, of us, of all of it, for fulfill, for fulfillment justice for you justice for you say it with your name are you okay pink i love it when he does that he like just moves and just like puts his palm on me gently just to like ask for something it's so cute okay all right wow also the lovers and the emperor masculine energy if my masculines are here I hear this message of don't give up. Yes, of course, for my feminines, but for my masculines, it feels like the things that you've been attracted to, initially attracted to, have been, like you're not trusting yourself anymore. And Spirit is saying to the masculines, that's okay. Or maybe you may have done things in the past where you you might you just feel like you chose wrong you chose wrong things in the past um you were deceived by beauty you were deceived by whatever 
I want you guys to also look at the story of Oshun and how she got so frustrated by people taking advantage of her beauty and taking advantage of how, how much she gives that she got so frustrated and she pulled away from the world. Very spiteful, very Knight of Wands, and how relatable it is, and how everything dried out. Knowing that the world dried out, and how all of the all of the other Arisha said, you have to come back, you have to come back. Know that your generosity is not meant to just be taken advantage of. <laughs> Your generosity, he just puts his paw right on my, my boob. Your generosity is not meant to be taken advantage of. It's meant to be given back to you also. That is equal. That is what's fair. That is what's right. Okay, my loves. Let's look at these crystals for you. Okay, well, first let's look at the map maker of destiny, authentic purpose, inspiration, and free will. The spirit whisperer, divine guidance, and higher knowing. The camel boy, small steps, and asking for help. And also the resting tree, patience, and stillness. Some of you guys, you know that you are divinely being guided into the lovers. You know that you're being guided into a higher marriage, into a higher union, into a higher destiny. Um, you know that. You know that. But your 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 map, your your path, your path that you've come from doesn't encourage you to take that step forward into manifesting materializing it now and spirit says we know that's why you come to us and you ask for help and you take baby steps within that and a lot of this is going to be okay you take a small step which is a big step for you and for your heart and for your faith and for your belief oh my goodness wait till you guys see this and then you rest the next thing that I want you guys to see that we have 22 here the number 22 I did I definitely said that and we also have 33 and I, I oh we also have 333 three, three because we have the spirit whisperer 3 and then the camel boy 33 three. so there is this equalizing here and this reflection this mirror counterpart energy that's coming through I'm really interested in, in hearing what the crystal spirits are showing for you you have turquoise here and you have celeste and also you have homework your homework is to check out Lemuria and the symbolism of the lemur okay celestite let's start with for actually no let's start with turquoise first 57 storytelling oh <laughs> spirit speaks storytelling reframing a different way of perceiving say less i hear exactly what spirit is saying these when you are reframing your mind and telling a different story that story still is there the story of the past your story of your experience yes but that story will not repeat itself it's not destined to repeat itself and spirit is saying that we are going to help you to make sure that it doesn't repeat itself whatever family broken family this definitely is giving me broken family vibes whatever broken family energy or broken past or generational curses that you've lived for lived lived for lived through is not destined to repeat itself especially if you're c c contact contacting connecting with your higher guides and your ancestors who tell you from the spiritual realms we did this so we're going to make sure that you don't <laughs> have to do this each of us can experience the same event differently because all of us are coming from different vantage points know that as you change so will your perspective and the message turquoise spirit has for you is that you can change your story of what happened in the past at any time you can choose which details to focus on and how to interpret events for you are being encouraged to claim your power as a storyteller make no mistake mistake storytelling is an awesome power that's the other thing too Oshun was some her story go to her story and relive her story and relive her wisdom I don't really want to go into the turquoise crystal anymore because it feels like the way that this is written in the book is more punishing spirit is saying something different of what I've already said so I don't want to read the rest of it I 
It's like you do know your you do know your past, you do know your story, but we're going to write a new story for you is essentially what I feel. And then the last card is Celestite, ruled by the number 15. Connection to the angelic realm and divine energy, clear channels for communication with your guides and universal consciousness. And what this means for you, what I can tell, is that this crystal is going to help you to connect to the spiritual realms because you are being called to ask for help. You're not meant to do it completely 100% independently of spirit, but you are meant to do it independently of others. Also, it's kind of triggering this independence thing. Um, that's kind of how spirit is showing it to me. It's like you've been independent up until this point because you've been self-reliant, because you've been ha you've had to, but we don't want you to have to carry on anymore. We want you to have partnership, union, relationship, marriage, all of those things, and not just with anybody, but with an equal counterpart. So with that, go to spirit and ask them for help. Each of us has a unique expression of the conscious universe. Who th I don't even want to read this card anymore. I just feel really called it. Let's see if there's anything in here that you need to hear. Yeah, just be open to their message. Um, you have all that you need and are always accompanied, accompanied by these entities who are devoted to bringing love and healing to all of us when we are feeling alone and weak. Today, connect with the angelic realm by calling upon these loving gods to light the path for you and help you become conscious of your unconscious gifts that are there for you now and always will be. Yeah, I just feel like this is more about communicating to the angelic realm and using the, the celestite crystal in order to do that. Um, I also heard you are capable. Some of you guys feel like you can't hear, you, you're not seeing, you won't be listened to, and they're just saying you are capable of this, it's going to happen. Ooh. All right, your, your affirmation cards from the Frida, Frida Kahlo deck is, a soul that touches the world with its truest creati creativity will leave a legacy of love. emphasis on the word legacy dive into your life allowing your beautiful words and actions to become inspirational this is what I'm talking about generational curses because it feels like a new chapter is being written for you so you tell the story of those who have come but you also tell your own story of how you broke that curse especially when it comes to fairy tale um, and then you have this happily ever after this magical outcome that then inspires the generations to come, that legacy. A soul that touches the world with its truest creativity will leave a legacy of love, yes. Your endurance will bring you success. Never defend yourself, remain present in your heart. Your endurance, do you see how you had to endure? Will bring you success. Never defend yourself, that's interesting remain present in your heart. I just feel like it's like you don't have to you don't have to defend, you know, why you want this. You don't have to guard yourself from getting this. You don't have to run away from this anymore. All right. Wow. I love you. <laughs> also, fulfillment is the heart's your heart's truest desires fulfilling themselves, by the way. Okay, my loves. Wow. I loved that reading so much. Um, I hope that it resonated. Please hit that thumbs up button if it did resonate, if it did make sense for you. Um, some of you guys were called to listen to all of them, and I totally understand that. One last card. One last card, Spirit. Whoop. Yeah, Hermit and the Devil card. I feel like this is what I'm saying. It's like, what is for you will not be taken from you. It's just written in the stars. <laughs> Good luck trying to escape it. But also, being having said that, know what you want and don't deviate from away from that you will know you will know all right my loves i love you guys so much as above so below i'll see you guys in my next video make sure that you're subscribed so that you can see it bye